More than a century ago, my German ancestors came to the United States with a dream to open their own business. That business, the Sealback Hotel, has gone on to host eight sitting presidents, houses Kentucky's only five diamond restaurant, and even was mentioned in The Great Gatsby. It's with that same desire to create something great, a city where more people want to live and work and raise a family, that's led me to run for city council. Cut services, raise taxes, or find new ways to attract and retain more people to our city. Which sounds like the better long-term strategy to you? For Cincinnati to succeed, we need to stop having to focus on huge budget deficits. We need to help our city attract and retain more businesses, more young professionals, and more families, and more retirees. I've known Chris for over 10 years. On City Council, he's exactly the kind of leader we need to help create a city we can all be proud to call home. When I think about Christopher growing up, I think about how important it was for him to help others. I think about the times he shoveled snow for elderly neighbors with his father. I think about the times, the many times that he found animals that were hurt and he nursed them back to health and then he found their homes. I remember him traveling to Appalachia in high school to serve the poor, working throughout college with an autistic child, helping him communicate, then going on to law school, graduating at just 25. We may be biased, but we know Christopher will serve Cincinnati well. We're at a crossroads. With huge budget deficits and a tax base that can't support our level of services, we have to continue to make tough cuts. But it doesn't have to be like that forever. Our long-term focus should be on how Cincinnati can grow its economy. And we have all the assets. What we need is leadership. First, we need to strengthen our greatest assets, our neighborhoods and local business districts. We can do this by embracing new ways to keep Cincinnati safe, like the Cincinnati Initiative to Reduce Violence, and by adopting smart codes, new zoning laws that give local communities more power to enhance the quality of their neighborhoods. Second, we need to make smart, long-term investments in our economy to attract tax-paying businesses. This includes upgrading our transportation system and promoting emerging industries like biotechnology and clean energy. Finally, we need to make sure Cincinnati is the kind of place people of all colors, faiths, and orientations want to live. The repeal of Article 12 was a great start, but there's more we can do. Cincinnati can and must attract and retain the best and brightest. That's why I'm running for City Council, and that's why I'm asking for your support. Chris is exactly what Cincinnati needs, but he can only win with your support. I'm asking you to make the most generous contribution you can. You can go to his website for more information or to contribute. We need Chris on Council, and he needs your help to get there. Thanks for your time and your support.